Hello everyone. As you can probably see, today there is no time lapse. No speed drawing or tutorial. That's just me talking. Think of this as a mini podcast episode. I don't know what kind of video I will have in the background, but that's not the point of this talk. So for me, today is the 8th of July. And the entirety of July, I have been feeling a little bit down. I had worked my butt off for some nice time lapses that I can use in some YouTube videos to entertain people and maybe inspire others to pick up a pen and get into the craft. And of course, alongside of that came a few cool art pieces. Now, I'm not one to whine to others because he has it so bad, because I do not. And this video is also not a pity party, just because I feel like it. Because I'd like to share something that I have learned during this past week. I have learned the limits of what I'm capable of doing. Now at first that sounds a little sad or ominous or whatever, but it's actually something good. You see, in the past week I have drawn a lot. Usually when I draw, I start Streamlabs OBS and turn on the screen recording. As weird as it sounds, it makes me feel a little watched, like I'm live streaming or something. That's pretty much fine with me. However, sometimes it's just a little weird feeling. However, this little weird feeling has pushed me in my workflow. Of course, if I want to record something, I don't want to be zooming around the canvas too much. I don't want to be undoing all the things that I do for half an hour and starting over again. I want to have a clean time lapse, something that people actually can enjoy watching. I mean, nobody wants to see me redo something for 20 minutes straight, but that's exactly what art is at least concept art from my perspective. I think I've lost a little bit of that touch. And now turning back to what I said earlier, last week my hard drive has gone silent. Almost everything that I have done until now that I have created in art and saved in that hard drive is gone. I have some really low resolution things that I have posted on the Discord or whatever and the time lapses on this channel. And as you can expect, that is the reason why I felt a little bit down. I tried everything. I have sent in my hard drive to a specialist that even like works with, you know, police things to try to, I don't know, decrypt or whatever is left on that. The results of that were as expected, mostly nothing. So that happened the week before last week. And then the 1st of July came around on the next day. I started up Photoshop, I started up my browser, wanted to get on some music, and YouTube recommends me a video from my own channel. One of these art vent calendar videos that are super old, I think they're over a year old by now, and I don't really know what the hell the algorithm is thinking by recommending me a winter Christmas video now. But it worked. I sat there and I watched that, I don't know, three minute video or so. And while watching that video, I thought to myself, why the hell am I feeling down just because I don't have my files anymore? I backtracked some of the stuff that I still had to probably around a year and a half ago, something like that. I even found some old stuff on my iPad. What kind of trash? did I do just a year ago? Seeing what I did a year ago and remembering that I was proud to be where I was sent absolute chills down my spine. That's right, chills. Because I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of frightened. How much can you improve in just one year? How easy is it to just get better when you're in the right mindset? And this right mindset I did not have a year ago. And I don't think I had it more than a week ago. I was just drawing for the sake of it. Getting in those repetitions, drawing hands and gestures and anatomy, reading books on how to draw. All the stuff that you hear successful people and me myself preach, this is good, you should do that. However, I was operating on autopilot. And not to say that I did not improve, because I did improve a lot. However, I found out in this week that just has gone by 
that drawing for a purpose, learning for something that you wish for or yearn for, just a high goal that you absolutely want to achieve, no matter what, can bring out something that you have never even thought would be possible from you. The past week, I drew a lot and I didn't record it because I just didn't feel like it. I was still bummed out about losing everything I've done so far and thought to myself, I just want to have a week, you know, to draw things that I want to draw or things that I want to draw in the future and I try them now so I can redo them when I'm even better. Drawing not for the sake of having picked up a pen and doing the repetitions, but drawing for myself. People that are in the Discord may have noticed it. However, I have been in Adobe Photoshop for hours, sometimes 10 to 14 hours straight. And of course, I take breaks and sometimes I do not draw and have Photoshop open. I'm not trying to advertise to draw for 14 hours straight, of course. But what I'm trying to say is when I drew for my sake, I would draw and completely forget all time and everything around me. And when I wouldn't draw, I would feel bad that I don't draw. I caught myself always constantly thinking about the designs I've made, the choices I've made, what could I have done better and what do I need to improve alongside with what do I want to do tomorrow. At first, that might seem a tiny bit unhealthy. However, I think it's a very good thing, at least from my perspective, because in these seven days that I have been drawing so much and enjoying it like I have just found drawing again after a long time, my curve of improvement has been steeper than at any point in time before. The last week I drew characters, made studies of concept art from characters and iterated for my own. Looking back to the start of the week, I have easily shaved down an entire hour in just rendering out a character to a certain degree without it losing any quality. On the contrary, the quality of the rendering and the clearness of the shapes and forms even got better. When I rendered something and I had a lot of reference, like I would draw something from almost a one-to-one -one reference thing. At the beginning of the week, I was proud of myself for that. And on the next day, I would draw something without the reference, another type of character, another pose, and it would look better. My curve of improvement has steeped so much that in the last seven days, I could take two days apart and I would see a huge gap in how I render and how well my rendering and my character is executed. And all of that started because I lost everything. I had a hard reset for everything that I have ever done. And looking back to the day I was bummed out so much, it was almost nothing but silly because the gap in skill between the things that I had saved on that hard drive and my drawing ability now is so huge, we could be two different people. So it basically doesn't even matter that I have lost everything because everything that I make anew is going to be better and better up until the point where I reach this absurd level of perfection that I have in my head. And after losing all of that, and coming back from it even better and more motivated, I know that I will never ever stop. There may be times that are hard and there may be drawings that I don't like, but in the end it all serves to one purpose and that is getting to be the best that we can be. And I feel it even now. While I'm speaking, I think to myself, why am I speaking for this video and not drawing? And as a side note, this video will be the last for a month or so because I will be gone for quite a while. I will be out up in Norway trying to survive in the forest for a couple of weeks. And imagine that I am frantically searching for ways where I can take a drawing tablet or at least a sketchbook and pen with me. And I know for a fact that those days where I am out there sitting on a stone trying to get the time to go by. I will be drawing every single minute of every single day that I can. Because in this last week, I have found my drive. And now it's time for you to find your drive. And with that said, I wish to you 
happy drawing for the next month and I will see you when I come back with lots and lots of probably traditional drawings. Goodbye.